March is National Athletic Training Month, and we'd like to give you a glimpse into our comprehensive services provided into the state of South Carolina and in our communities. My name is Amy Kanagi. Um, I have been an athletic trainer for almost 11 years now. Currently I'm working on the surgical side of athletic training. So what that means is I do a clinical side of athletic training, assisting Dr. Jeffrey Guy with orthopedic sports medicine, and then I also assist him in the operating room. My name is Casey Johns. I am an assistant athletic trainer. I have been an occupational athletic trainer for seven years. I work for an automobile factory down in Charleston, South Carolina. I am responsible for keeping their teammates healthy and on the floor. My name is Julie Miller. I'm the head athletic trainer at Benedict College, and many collegiate athletes this is their first time having to actually navigate and manage their health care without mom and dad being right there with them. My name is Nikki Gay. I'm an athletic trainer. I've been a certified athletic trainer since 2002. I work um, twofold. I have a high school that I take care of, Lugoff Elgin High School. I've been there for 15 years and then I also go to Continental Tire and take care of their um, employees which we call industrial athletes. My name is Paul Vaughn. I uh, just moved to Columbia, uh, even South Carolina, in the summer of 2020. I uh, came here to, uh, to work for Prisma. I'm a head athletic trainer here uh, at, at a local high school, uh, at AC Floor High School. I also help uh, supervise athletic trainers within Richland One. My name is TJ Marsh. I'm a certified athletic trainer with Prisma Health Orthopedics. I'm assigned to River Bluff High School, and I have been an athletic trainer for 25 years. Outside of the school that I'm assigned to, which is River Bluff High School, um, we just launched a new service line. It's athletic training virtual care. Parents or athletes um, can scan a QR code. Um, it sends us a message. We call them back. We can set up a video visit um, to determine what level of care or where they need to go next. My name is Jason Wimberly. I'm the manager of athletic training here at Prisma Health Orthopedics in the Midlands area. I enjoy the fact that I get to help a scope of different people. I have met a ton of different people along the line and that's been the best part is meeting different people from different spectrums and learning their backgrounds. Um, that's been really amazing to me. Athletic training let me combine my love for medicine and my love for sports um, into one cohesive unit. It gives me a venue to help an individual within an entity that I can see them in their absolute worst of times and then see them and rejoice with them in their absolute greatest of times. Being there for the kids when they get injured, uh, I, I mean I, covering the events and, and, and being there for their injury, assessing that injury, uh, helping them get through that initial injury process mentally, physically, um, you know, if they need to see a physician, getting them into that, talking to the parents. I think communication, especially at the high school level, is, is of utmost importance. As a clinical athletic trainer, I enjoy most about seeing the athletes get back to their, their, their pre-injury status. Uh, we want to get them well and get them back to their sport as fast as possible, but safely. Uh, as, a, as a manager, I like seeing my team work well together to, to work on a project or a tournament. Um, it's, it's nice to see them work as a team and, and do something great, smiling, laughing, uh, enjoying work, hopefully, is the goal. It's just something that you don't get in a lot of jobs, and just that's a rewarding thing, going out, knowing that I helped somebody you know, feel better, whether it's you know, the athlete who gets back on the field or the employee that's able to work every day that wasn't. I, I just love being able to walk our patients through these processes, you know, and it could be the athlete, it could be the weekend warrior, it could be grandma that just wants to be able to pick up her grandkids. I think just the different stages of life we get to see with our patients and you still get to see them from when they first come to see you, that first injury, or maybe they've been having issues for years and something that we can help just change their life and make their life a little bit better. It could be something little to us, but it could be something really big to them. 